So today we're going to replace an air handler, which is the second half of your air conditioning system. This is the connector, and this was replaced last year, uh, but it didn't match the old air handler, which is really old. So this place is having a lot of problems with airflow and freezing indoor coil. Okay, so it's not very warm out today, but I want to give you an example of why we're doing this. It's 68 degrees outside. And this pressure is very low. It's at 50. It should be upwards of 60. Um, and inside is 70 degrees. Out here, you're getting 80 on the saturation. And that should actually be 100 or close to 100. And down here, you have a freezing low side pipe or vapor pipe, which means not all this refrigerant is vapor. So that means that the coil inside isn't big enough and there's lack of airflow. The high side line is 74 degrees. So that means there's only uh, six degrees, roughly six degrees um, subcooling, which isn't performing very well. So this thing is a four ton unit. And it's running like it's, like it's a two ton unit. Okay, now this unit, it says 42 degrees on the supply temperature. And it's actually only 70 degrees in here. So that means that this thing has like 28 degrees of temperature split. That's like way too much. Now it's a common misconception that um, a cooler air across this is a lot better. Actually, it means this thing is underperforming like crazy. So we're gonna replace it. Okay, so here's the unit that we're taking out. As you can see, there's a lot of rust on it. It's in pieces, we took it out in pieces. Look at how badly rusty that is. That's mold. It's because of lack of airflow across this unit. It has a chance to build up inside of it. Look at how bad it is. And here's the new unit in pieces. We took it apart so we could get it back in the attic easier. It has a variable speed uh, motor on it, which will drive pressure through the duct system better. Well, here's the air handler. All installed. Okay, this project's all done. Suction side is way up to 65. It's at 58 centimeters. 